Hello guys, in this video we are gonna take a look at the one of the coolest feature in Blender called Shadow Catcher. This feature is very useful for creating transparent renders and this is very easy to use. I hope you will like this feature very much. Now let's get started. Okay, so here's our simple scene. You can download this project file from my Gumroad. Link is in the description. And also if you want to support my channel, you can type in the price however you want and I will really appreciate that. Okay, so in this scene we have this animation. And I want to render this animation with transparency, but let's go to render view. And now what I need is that I want to render this animation with transparency, but I also want this shadow to be casted without this plane. Now in this case, what we have to do is that let's go to, let's go to object properties. And now here you will see this visibility. Let's click this drop down. And now under visibility, you will see here mask. Now if you check shadow catcher, you will see that the plane has gone and there is only our shadow. And now if you try to render this, but first let's turn the background to be transparent. So let's go to film and let's check transparent. Now our animation will be fully transparent and also we will get this shadow. Now let's render our whole animation. And also make sure that you are rendering your animation or your image in PNG format and in RGBA because RGBA contains transparency. Okay, so after rendering everything, you can open this image sequences in any video editor or photo editor. In this case, I'm using DaVinci Resolve. So let's import our animation. Okay, so here's our animation. Now let's import an image. Okay, so let's Let's move our animation upwards and let's and now here's our image. And now as you can see, we have successfully rendered a transparent animation with shadow. Now shadow catchers only work with cycles render engine. But what if you want to do it in Eevee? Now let's see how to do it. So now let's turn our render engine to Eevee. Okay, so now as you can see, the shadow catcher is not working very well in Eevee. But first let's change the settings of Eevee. So enable ambient occlusion bloom screen space reflection and etc etc also turn on refraction and now let's go to shading now let's go to our rendered view okay now we want to make this plane transparent so let's delete our principal bsdf and let's add in a transparent bsdf and also let's add in a diffuse bsdf by the way you can use principal bsdf also and now let's add in a mix shader and let's plug them okay so now they are looking the same but we want to only collect the shadow data of this plane so let's duplicate this diffuse bsdf press shift d and now we want to plug this bsdf into the factor of the mix shader but but this diffuse BSDF is a BSDF and BSDF node cannot connect in the factor. Now let's add in a shader to RGB node. And let's plug it here. And now as you can see that we can see some shadow here, but we have to invert that because this is diffuse BSDF and this is transparent. So let's swap them. Now you can see that nothing has changed but until we go to the material properties and under settings let's change the blend mode from opaque to alpha blend and also let's change the diffuse bsdf from white to black and let's invert them again because i have messed up okay so now as you can see it is working like a shadow catcher now you can repeat the same process for everything. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support me, you can go over to my Gumroad page. Link is in the description and have a nice day.